worth just ignoring, mm. but not oh, deleting. Yeah. No, yeah, I just liked it. Like, and it's funny you say that, because as I was going through the Qantas one, then I saw, like, there was some real profanity, because I thought, oh, man, they've really got their customer service. Like, I touch down in Melbourne, and they'll be like, welcome home. Just if I've tagged them in Twitter, they'll say, welcome home. You know, I hope you enjoy your catch-up with your family. Like, it's, it makes you feel like you just come to them. Like, it's really good. Anyway, I noticed that even on their Facebook feed, every comment, even if it's, like, negative, they would reply. But there were some profanities around, like, the Mardi Gras. And they just just didn't, yeah. just ignored it. Just didn't it's say really Sorry? No, it's really bad. Well, what's it? Why feed? Yeah, why feed the beer? And it's not to the yeah. point where it's deletable. Like, it was, it was just everyone's got an opinion. Yeah. It's just childish. Yeah. So there's no, like, I wouldn't stress about it. Yeah. 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 And more than likely, they're not going to come back and say, oh, you haven't replied. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then, like, they take a reply to their own comment tag in friends, and then they reply to their own comment again with a photo of their own fun. Yeah. Just and it's just one of those, let's just push some content and feed it down. Yeah. Yeah, and just get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so ignoring fan activity, like we, we really want to up that game because this is a great tool for customer service, really. And even like something that modelled, and I noticed that with Westpac as well. Westpac, it was just last week, the whole internet banking went down. So I went straight onto the, their Facebook page to see if they've addressed it there. So people have started really now, nah, it's time to change banks or whatever. Those type of comments they ignored. But when it was legitimate, like do you have any time they would go, like, and you could tell there were different people engaging. And I'd say, thanks for your patience, Despina. Like, they would actually sign it off with the name, which I think, you know, just humanising the experience, which is good. Um, so, yeah, just checking in from time to time, and you can go straight into your notifications. When you've got just some downtime, you say, okay, I'm going to spend five minutes just to talk back to some people to say thank you. That's... Um, just go into your notification and you'll have all of that in there of who's mentioned, tagged, reviewed you. Always selling is a big turn off. Some of you are borderline on that. Like everything's about many, come, come, promote, sell, sell. Like we don't, we want to. TV works really well. The commercials really work really well because in between we've got something that we love. They're giving us value of, you know, even if it's trashy, it's entertaining us. And then they can they can sell something to us, but uh, when we we don't want to use our social media to always be selling. Think of it like a TV or a magazine. Again, you flick through value, value articles, content, and then there's something advertised to you. I always think 80/20 is a good way to look at it. Okay, every if every ten out of every ten posts, keep. You know, six to eight of them value, then go in and hook and promote something. To monitor this, the pre-scheduling tool is a great way to be able to manage your variety. Not using video, I think I've, I've done that enough. So because they're, the situation with Facebook trying to dominate the video space, what I want you to think is, it doesn't have to be a movie production. You just go and do what you can with the resources and the budget that's available to you. And the cameras are damn mighty good these days on our phones, okay? For your websites, different. Be professional, spend the money to do something great that can sit as your featured uh, video, okay? But otherwise, just as your week to week, what can you do to incorporate more video? And there's a testimonials, behind the scenes, FAQs. Do, do little reviews or like we said, like little interviews with your own staff. It doesn't even have to be customers. Do a variety, okay? That would be something great that will translate back into your website as well. Meet the team and have a little video there of them about what they love about working with you and for you and, and in the area. No call to action. So that's a big one. No call to action on your Facebook page. 
And what we spoke about before, not using your real estate to have as a call to action. Um, so activate your call to action, include your website, tell fans what you want them to do, okay? So when you look at designing even your Facebook cover pages, if you do have a campaign, if you do have a promotion, tell them what you want them to do. You're, you've got your Tuesday neighbour, is it? Oh, that would be something lovely, you know, moving forward, do some creative to further promote that, take it that next step. I posted on my Facebook page this morning, I went to make my tea, and I noticed LinkedIn had a Facebook, like had they put their face, the little Facebook page and put LinkedIn underneath, and I'm like, I would never have followed the LinkedIn page, but they told me what they wanted me to do, they used their real estate. So now I'm jiggling and I'm like, OMG, good on you, LinkedIn. You just got my attention. You know, like, what are we? What opportunities are we leaving on the table? I love that you put that there on your way out. Find us on Facebook. Take it a step further, put in forward slash great provider because it's going to save me time. I can, that, I'm still going to go have to hunt. And then there might be the great provider, there might be a lot of them. Put exactly what your handle is. Okay, so then it will, it will further. And that's what I really liked about my Lipton experience this morning. That they didn't just give me the thumb of follow us on Facebook. They just had the Facebook and had Lipton. Like the, the um, forward slash and then Lipton, which was very clever. Business cards, your email signatures, your, your receipts, your booking confirmation. Okay, your word of mouth when they leave, you know, the last point of contact, don't forget to follow us on Facebook. We've always got great special coming up, especially if you've got a thriving local community coming to you as well, okay? Okay, so this is the point where I want to show you a few things, but I think I'm going to... down here. So before we go, now I'm going to get, where do I leave my phone? I want to show you just these ability to, um, what you need in terms of your Facebook app. I want everyone not to get through, not do any. So we want to go here. Okay, come on. Why is it not connecting? Oh, maybe I'll just start again. I want you to see my... Um, just figured out how to do this. The other... Oh, guys, it's not coming to the party. It's such a shame. I want to show you how to, um, to... For you to see my phone. You know what I mean? But it's not... Um, That always the way I tested it when we got here. Yay! Yeah. No, it's going all wet though. Anyway, what we want to get to. Please stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah. have to go old school. Um, basically, it's just you're going to look up in your app store, Facebook pages app, and it's the, the orange flag, okay? What that means is that you don't have to go through your personal Facebook page, because you're admin on your business page, you can just go straight onto this app. And it brings up your, you can just do business on Facebook. And then, I also find it, it's good from a time management perspective, because you go into the blue, you go onto your Facebook app, and you can find yourself like coming out of it an 
that one. If you go onto the app, this is where you can straight, you can, you can do something like the Facebook, the live video, okay? But also what's great when you do it through here is that if you see, this way it's a shame that that, that silly thing didn't work. See down the bottom, so now I've gone as if I'm going to publish a post. See down the bottom, there's, there's three little dots under the, sta the status post. If I click on that, instead of hitting publish, I can, hit, I can click on scheduled. So you can go, you can use the app to pre-schedule your content. Helpful? Is that way you don't have to do it. You can also do that through your desktop, your, your Facebook app, your, but this is something that you can use um, from your mobile device. The other thing is through the app is that you have access to all of your insights. So you can see your reporting and your stats. Um, now, some of you do your own events, okay? If you run your own events, I would never let the opportunity to create the event on your Facebook page as well. Does that make sense? So let's just log on to Facey. Um, oh. Sorry guys, this will take a little 30 seconds, come on. Great. If you've got your, um, you know what? Doesn't matter. It's it should come up. Or lowercase. Awesome. As your download, beautiful. Now, a great question came up about how to engage on our page, okay? Now, with, they've changed, I don't know if you guys have noticed that it's changed how you can flick between your personal and your business page. Has anyone of you noticed and is doing your head in? Yeah. yeah. Because that was the way, again, this is why this always changes. I used to be able to say, so these, this is my business page, okay? In the good old days, every page that I liked, I could, when I moved to my business page, it will change the profile up here, which was beautiful because when it came to engaging within a business environment, I could just go to the home page and that's when I would spend my five minutes of love giving. I'd go like, comment and share. And that's all you need, just whoever comes up on your feed, okay? But now Facebook says we want all of the connecting to be done between people to people, okay? So the work around this now when we're engaging, so I need to go back into my Facebook page we do engaging by going in, see pages feed in the left, okay? So when I go into see pages feed, now it gives me all the feed of who, which pages I've liked as a business, okay? 
Now, this is a great opportunity for you guys. I would love to think that every page that you follow is opportunity for you, like a, a business relationship. So it's all your local, you know, whatever that might be. Now, if I go and like City of Port Phillip now, notice here, I know I'm on my business page. Remember he said I'm not sure. So I can go here and say, no, I want to do this as me, as my personal. But no, I always want to engage in this space as my business. So I can hit like now and they'll get notified that I've given them some love. And if anyone else looks here, they will see that I have your page comes up front of centre. So if I go to Port, so if I'm a, if I'm a City of Port Phillip business, I can go in here and say, you know, just beautiful. Now, when we're talking about organically building our profile and our businesses, whoever, City of Port Phillip, however many people, so 2,411 people follow them, okay? So this is a good, we're not just, we're giving love, but we also want to put ourselves, our business, in front of mind of other businesses that have the people we want to attract, okay? So when we're giving love, you want to do it in a way, comment, share, and like as much as you possibly can allow yourself time for, but make it a regular, put it as a regular thing in your workflow, because that's a way you're going to get in front of other people. Yes? So, um, if you want to like another organisation as your business, like yes. Exactly that. See up here, pages feed. Like other pages. So now, say I don't think I had the great provider. Is it the great provider, your business page? Great. So now I'm going to go search for them as my business. And there we are. We found them. Save. And that's a like. Now, but watch this. Another way, if you just do a search, right? Oh, now I like them. There's something else I might not. Um, say, uh, it does, but I'll show you the little way you can get around. Oh, I don't, Linda New Art, do I like, I think I liked you. Come on. Okay, so I found you. I'll go this over. So, to make sure you've liked them, so if you've just searched for someone in your feed, like that, um, come on. See now, I can unlike this page, or I can, if I go back to like, see these little three dots here? It's a pain. I am not, like, this is the worst thing they could have done to us as businesses because, it, it, yeah, it used to be so easy to engage. But now if you go, like as your page. Okay. See the difference? Because they want people, they want users to engage with businesses so they can sell more advertising to people. That makes sense? But how do you know that you're on? So see that says Despina, I just liked it again as me. But when I want to like a page now as a business, I go like as your page and it gives me all the pages that I am, and mine's not coming up. So these are pages that I'm admin of, but I think maybe because I'd already liked it. 